Hey, yo. A lot of people say, you know, Justin, before meeting you, I thought I didn't like you. And now I know I don't like you. And I always ask them why. And they always tell me. You enter a room and the energy just focuses towards you. It's just something that you absorb. And some actual, like, women actually told me, Justin, you smell like hard work. The perfume you wear smells like results. And I'm like, I'm not wearing a perfume. That's just the way it smells. And a lot of women tell me that's the smell of result right there. Sometimes when I fart in the cabinet, you know what the, the speaker says? It smells like someone's getting results in here. Plan not only fights climate change, puts, uh, it makes emissions lower, uh, puts more growth on the books. Sure smells like someone's getting results in here. Let's be honest, guys. But Paul, yeah, when he makes up stuff about the liberals to actually gain some clout online, it's not for Canadians that he's doing that. It's to impress his wife. That's all he Pierre Polyev is literally focused on getting results to impress his beautiful wife from Venezuela. That's all he wants to do. Pierre Polyev's goal in life is to impress his wife. That's all he wants to, he wants to do. Like, I never understood why pansexuals actually get aroused by pans. But anyways, um, <laughs> this week in Parliament, I entered the men's bathroom and I'm like, who's the freaking idiot that put tampons in the men's bathroom? And then uh, I looked online and remembered it was me apparently. So I was like, damn it, Christian Freeland passing like legislation behind my back again. I hope the NDP stays focuses, focused on how we can deliver for Canadians, as we have over the past years, rather than focusing on politics. Justin Trudeau, me, uh, I will fight for Canadians. Why does Justin Trudeau suddenly not love his country? Who does Justin Trudeau actually want to separate? Or will Justin Trudeau fight with his very last breath to make sure that this Canada stays the Canada that we collectively know it can be? And uh, while Pierre Polyev is focused on politics, while being a politician, which is absolutely mind-blowing if you ask me. I'll let uh, others focus on politics, but I will. Um, I don't understand that. Like, clearly, uh, you know, um, my background clearly speaks for itself as a drama teacher. He told CTV News in an um, exclusive interview that he wanted to call for a carbon bathtub election. <laughs> Jagmeet Singh was saying that he tries his hardest to get community notes on his posts and he cannot catch up to Pierre Polyev. Like, the lies by Pierre Polyev about the necromancers and the people bringing people back from the dead so that they can vote in Canada, you know, and the voodoo stuff. Like, that's just like uh, smoke and mirrors, man. Don't believe what Pierre Polyev says. I mean, like, look with your own eyes. When you look outside, you can clearly see there's no immigration problem. I'm not focused on politics. That's not why I got in politics. I'm not focused on doing politics, okay? I did not I did not become a politician to be focused on politics right now. Right now, what I'm focused on is on getting results for Canadians. That's what Canadians want right now. They want people to be focused and getting results, okay? It's not a secret that Pierre Polyev has been bringing up stuff that make no sense at all. Uh, focus on the things like dental care. We're going to focus on um, things like expanding more childcare spaces. That's my focus. I'll let other people talk about politics. While Pierre Polyev remains focused on the fact that necromancers seem to be real in Canada because of all these dead people registered to vote, well, I'm focused on getting results. I'm not here to play politics. And Pierre, so what if dead people are registered to vote? In my Canada, Dead people are allowed to have a voice as much as terrorists are allowed to have a voice. Should we not because revoke Mr. the citizenship Harper. of people convicted of terrorist offenses against this country? This was a bill because put forward. This was a bill put forward by a member of parliament who is himself an immigrant, Devinder Shori. This is not the standards we expect. Immigrants 
Canadians, all of us who are here, expect that we would have a Mr. minimum Harker, bar that people would not, uh, people Canadian, who come here would not be guilty of trying to plan a, a terrorist Mr. attacks Harper, against this country. A Canadian the individual is a Canadian, question, Canadian, Mr. Is a Canadian and you devalue, individual. you devalue the citizenship of every Canadian uh, in this place and in this country when you break down and make it conditional for anyone. The we have the rule of law in this country and you yeah. can't take the, away the citizenship. Mr. Trudeau, let's give you one second. 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 Mr. Trudeau, let's give you that in the next election, any country participating in election interference must commit election interference equally in every party. The Bloc, the NDP, the Liberals, and the Conservatives should have at least three to four MPs equally in each party, which other countries will interfere with. All summer long, I met many Canadians from one ocean to the other, and all two of them told me, very, construct very constructive and precise stuff. Almost like having debate with my actual citizens. And one of them actually told me, Dirty cockroach, he's right in there! To stay focused on the middle class. And I told him, I had to explain to him. Interestingly enough, putting pressure on the middle class by increasing the carbon tax, by re increasing the cost of homes, by increasing the carbon tax again, and again, and again, and then by letting in migrants, all that stuff will, interestingly enough, at one point, reduce the pressure on the middle class. Pressures on our system, um, increasing the immigration levels, interestingly, will take some of the pressure off of the system uh, because the stream on bringing in permanent residents uh, is has got room to bring in more, and it's when people come as refugees and try to flip or get refugee crisis that it, uh, status that it... I'm telling you, man, that's how we do it. And my plan to put pressure on the middle class, by the way, was revised by over 200 economists in the world. People that don't even have anything to do with Canada were revising this plan, and they actually said that they should do this everywhere. It's just so effective know that more than 200 economists have said that it was the best measure that we can put in place. And next election, guys, I'm telling you guys right now, uh, I will legalize marijuana again. Why? Because my incompetent uh, deputy prime minister, Christian Freeland, banned marijuana again by accident. So I will legalize marijuana a second time for all of you uh, Canadians. And that's that.